Welcome to the Nascom product conclave in uh, Bangalore here. I am Vasanthi Hari Prakash and we are in conversation with product entrepreneurs. Right now, we are talking to Amit Chitale. He is a global leader, strategic initiatives at KPIT, headquartered in Pune. Amit, welcome to the show. Thank you so much, Vasanthi. How are you doing? I'm doing very good and the energy is palpable right across this conference. And you, um, you know, uh, would you like to really first of all tell us what is a product that you develop and how is it changing lives? Sure. Uh, I would call uh, this uh, system that we're developing as a platform. Uh, it's called Connect Platform, KPIT Connect Platform. Uh, it's supposed to be uh, connecting the things that are part of Internet of Things. As you know, Internet of Things is a new emerging technologies where uh, a significant change in the industry as we see and the world as we, that we see is going to take place. Uh, KPIT's Connect Platform has this unique ability to connect things which are heterogeneous in nature. Uh, as probably you can relate to that everything around us is not made by one company, one organization. It's mm -hmm. part of an ecosystem where products come from a variety of companies and they still work together with each other. We believe in the world of Internet of Things, uh, by 2020 there will be 23 to 50 billion devices around us. Uh, there is this strong need that somebody and comes... And these devices are talking to each other. They are talking to each other, they need some mechanism to talk to each other and mm -hmm. operate in the same environment. So it's a very heterogeneous kind of structure environment and that's where KPIT's platform or product is positioned to help them coexist, collect, connect with each other and control uh, as the need may be. But if I were to ask you to tell us very simply, what is the service or the industry that you know this product goes into? What is the problem you're trying to solve that we have? As a sure. So if you if you look at uh, you know the basic proposition of Internet of Things. Uh, Every device as, as we work with it or we use it uh, has a particular uh, business value or a value to the user or consumer. Now this value is enhanced by way of Internet of Things by connecting to internet, uh, through computation, through analytics performed on that. Uh, the analytics could be twofold. One, the user, how he uses it and two, what more, what better can we offer to the user while the device operates. Now if for a system like that to work, uh, there could be data sets information outside the boundaries of that device per se. For example, uh, you're traveling home from probably a busy day, uh, you probably want a very, very nice soothing music in the car, so you're going to put that on because you are in control in a car. But what happens when you reach house? You probably, the house and the utilities that you use, use in house would be so much better, would perform so much better if those devices and the utilities in the house are told that you probably prefer a, you know, a very soothing, uh, music, maybe a nice aroma around your house and your food is warm so that you can probably have it and go to bed early. So all those systems have to operate with each other. The car which you're using to drive home mm. probably knows most about you because you're taking that to reach home. So information from your car is relevant to your house. Similarly, let's say you, you got up a little late this morning, you want to go to your office and you're going to use your car. But if your car is no, told in advance that you might be a little late, the car itself could find near uh, better routes, better uh, traffic conditions for you to reach faster to office with little less, little less stress. Isn't that, so what you're describing to us right now in the IoT space, the Internet of Things, as you say, this scenario, is it not futuristic? Good question. Well, what is future? I think if you look at uh, the definition of future from the context of Internet of Things, nobody believed that you would have phones with the processing capabilities that we have now. I mean, you have phones which are probably as, as complex as compute, uh, powerful as your computers maybe three, four years ago. Right. One gigahertz in a, com in a, in a small uh, microprocessor in a phone is, is a very complex and, and a very powerful system. So the future, as we understand, is getting shrink. So what we believe is going to happen next to next will probably happening next. And what is going to happen tomorrow is going to happen is, is happening today. Sure. So I think I believe from that context, that perspective, when a lot of excitement, a lot of work is being done to make our lives easier, I don't believe these technologies that I just described are very future and distant future. They're probably happening right now. And I think it's it's sooner than we can imagine, but but to someone who wants to therefore enter the space because it's it's got such huge potential, yes. you've got huge numbers of devices and you know, you know, those machines like we said talking to each other. What would be the advice that you give an entrepreneur wanting to enter the space? 
Well, I think uh, somebody who's in his 20s, uh, somebody who's in maybe late 20s, uh, looking at how the excitement around what's happening around a uh, lot of innovation happening around this is the best time what uh, one single advice I would give them is don't wait for anything I mean what you have is there within you just look at that and just jump into this this journey is very very exciting as much as the destination so there's go ahead the right there's nothing called the right time here really uh, as an entrepreneur through your throughout your own journey any any moment that comes into your mind which which was funny or which was really you know, a big challenge, any such thing that that really comes and um, comes to mind? Well, there's a sense of uh, great satisfaction that I remember uh, in the early stages when uh, and it was very, very practical to understand that now uh, when we look at the, what we really did for our customer. There was this technology where uh, the customer was sending information over wire network. That is the time when, uh, you know, this was probably 10, 15 years ago. There was no Wi-Fi as prevalent as it, is, as it is today. And they were sending communication messages over a wire line. Mm -hmm. And that time the phone bills were, you know, very, very high, obviously, because uh, the, the, the costs were high that time. Uh, we created a technology by which we could compress irrespective of what, that, what the, uh, the message being sent to 50% of its size. Mm -hmm. Straight away we could reduce the bills to, for our customer by 50%. I think that was a great satisfaction that we had. I'm sure and it was uh, and that's what you call customer delight. Indeed and, so. Uh, and that's, that validates your product. Thank you so, Thank much, you so much, Amit Chitrile, for joining us on this conversation sure. today. Sure. Pleasure talking to us. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.